Uh, my name is Ilaria Bernocchi. I am a student and PhD student in history of art. I work on uh, Italian heroic portraits from the 16th century. So portraits where the sitter is depicted as a pagan god, as a biblical hero, or a historical character. I am Nicolò Morelli. I work in Italian studies in the Department of Italian at MML in Cambridge. And uh, I work on medieval poetry, in particular on Petrarch and uh, animal imagery in Petrarch, vernacular poems. Last year, in July, I think, Ilario and I uh, had the idea of organizing a seminar together, one of those department seminars about specific topics uh, on uh, Petrarch and Fortitude. But at some point we realized that uh, we could open the workshop to many other scholars uh, from all over the world and uh, organize instead of a um, seminar, a conference or a symposium. So we, we published a copy paper, it was extremely successful, there was immediate interest for this project and um, the conference came together as a dialogue between um, specialists from different fields. So Italianists, but also art historians and also historians. And uh, it was great to have so many different voices, so, many, so much interaction between specialists who don't usually perhaps have the opportunity of hearing um, the other voice. Uh, and it was really a success, a brilliant discussion, a rich discussion, very diverse points of views. And we're very happy that we decided to uh, let other people talk and create an entire day of discussion on this topic rather than a simple seminar. The day of the symposium was concluded brilliantly by a keynote lecture given by Dr. Federica Pick from the University of Leeds. Uh, Dr. Pick is a young, brilliant scholar who's written extensively on the relationship between poetry and the visual arts, especially portraiture. Um, and her lecture was fantastic. She talked about um, portraits with inscriptions and how the inscription uh, creates a dialogue with the beholder and how these inscriptions were taken from literature and how they were taken from texts uh, from the Petrarchan tradition. So it was a, a great way to um, discuss, she called them speaking portraits and we were very happy and very uh, honoured to have her participate in our symposium. Uh, Federica Pick's um, keynote lecture was followed by Dr. Abigail Brandin's uh, response. Uh, Dr. Brandin has recently completed um, a very important interdisciplinary project um, on domestic devotions. Uh, and so her contribution was particularly helpful to um, illuminate the overlap and the interplay between uh, word and image uh, in the Italian context of home. Uh, and uh, Abigail Brandin in particular emphasized that in Renaissance houses in Italy, Petrarch's writings and uh, Petrarch's poems, vernacular poems, love poems, were uh, kept and stored uh, alongside scriptural writings and the Bible itself. So this is just to uh, note and to uh, point out the importance of Petrarch for Italian poetry, but also for Italian culture. So the aim of the symposium was to investigate for me the other side of um, the, the field of arts and humanities. So um, I just I wanted to, with the help of Ilaria, to see what the influence of Petrarch uh, was in the field of arts. 
and this is very helpful and the conference, the symposium uh, helped me to understand the role and the impact of patchwork in, uh, in arts and in, uh, in, uh, in the history of arts. Um, it was, I think, uh, a very great day, a day of discussion, a day when a scholarship made a tiny step forward. Um, and I personally am incredibly enriched in my work because I've heard so many people talk about portraits, which are what I love, so many new perspectives, so many new angles, even architectural angles or discussions on portraiture in France, um, which were very important and very interesting. And I'm sure that, my, uh, that I go back to my work on heroic portraits with a new awareness of the importance of words and of poetry uh, for the visual arts. So I am incredibly grateful of for having been at this day.